Hello, boys and girls. My name is Pastor Tammy. And first, I want to say that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, today's Bible story is found in the book of John chapter 11. So in this chapter, we find Jesus and his disciples ministering in a small town when a messenger walks up to him. And the messenger said to Jesus, your friend Lazarus is sick. Lazarus was indeed Jesus' closest friend. Jesus had become close to Lazarus and his two sisters named Martha and Mary. But even though Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was for two more days instead of going to Lazarus right away. So finally, after two days, Jesus decided to go visit Lazarus. When Jesus arrived, he was met by Lazarus' sister named Martha. She was very upset and crying because Lazarus, he had already died. In fact, Lazarus had been dead for four whole days before he had arrived. So if only, this is what Martha said, she was crying. If only you had been here, my brother would not have died. Martha knew that Jesus had the power to heal the sick, but now she felt like it was too late because Lazarus had already died. So Jesus told Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. Anyone who believes in me will live even if he dies. Then Jesus went to the tomb where Lazarus was buried and Lazarus' other sister Mary told her, she said, if you, it's the same thing that Martha said. She said, if you had only been here, Lazarus would not had died. So Jesus actually, he cried because he loved them so much. He loved Lazarus and he loved the two sisters, but Jesus knew that he was about to do something incredible, something amazing. Oh my God. It would amaze everyone who was there. So Jesus ordered that the people move the large stone that covered Lazarus tomb. They gave him a strategy, just rule away the stone, move the tomb. So Martha said, Jesus, are you sure you want to open that tomb? I mean, after all, he's been dead for four days. I'm pretty sure Lazarus is stinking real bad by now. He stinks terribly. The stone was rolled away and Jesus stood a little ways, just a little ways away from the tomb. And then he called out toward the tomb. He said, Lazarus, come out or Lazarus, come forth. He called him by name, come out. So moments later, guess who came walking out of that tomb, walking out of that grave? Lazarus, he appeared at the entrance of that tomb because he was alive. Hallelujah. Mary and Martha thought it was too late for a miracle. Remember, if we'd only been here. My brother would not have died. That's what they said because this was their reality. Their brother was dead. But Jesus proved that it is never, ever too late for a miracle. That's the kind of God we serve. So in your lesson today, you are going to learn the same lesson that Martha and Mary learned. Even though it may look like there's no chance for a miracle, it is never too late with God. Hallelujah. Well, I was supposed to have a prop to start off this lesson today, but it looks like my volunteer Jakaira is nowhere to be found. I mean, she was supposed to be here like 10 minutes ago and I just don't know what I'm going to do now. What, hold on, let me just look around to see if I, I got can, it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got, I got the clock. I'm so late. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The dog ate my homework. I fell asleep in class. We had so much going on. I'm so I brought the clock. I have it. It's here. You were supposed to be here 10 minutes ago. I'm sorry. Okay. I have it now. Well, 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 well thank you. Say hi, Welcome. then just you get it. Hi, boys and girls. We Bye. <laughs> Don't you just hate when somebody is late? I know I do. Have you ever had someone who was supposed to meet you somewhere at a certain time and they were late? All you can do is just wait and just wait 
and just wait. I absolutely hate people, not people, but I don't like when people are late. It's never fun to wait, never, never fun. But it's even worse when someone is not just late, but they are too, too, too late. As if in like the event is completely on you and they come showing up like they on time, but they done missed everything. They missed the introduction, the most important part, like at a birthday party. Like you, you want all the guests to be there when you come in. And then after you walk around and you greet everybody, you high five, you handshake. And then you notice the person wasn't here. Oh, now they done rolled right in as if they were there the whole time. I absolutely do not like that. That really makes us upset. Well, that's exactly what Martha and Mary felt in the Bible story today. That's how the sisters felt. They had sent for Jesus to come visit their brother Lazarus while he was still alive, while he was sick, so he could be healed. But instead, Jesus showed up after their brother had already died. And Mary and Martha, they were so upset. You know, like, <laughs> she was just, just so late. But I'm pretty sure they were a little more upset than that. But I just wanted to <laughs> use her as an example, right? They said, Jesus, if you had only been here, our brother would not have died. In other words, Jesus, you're too late. He's already dead. What are you going to do now? It's too late for a miracle. But did they forget who Jesus was? He is the miracle worker. But when you are in deep grief and sorrow, sometimes you can't even see past your own hurt, your own pain. They were like, it's too late if you had been here. So they assumed that Jesus just didn't understand what was going on. But they were so wrong about Jesus. They needed to learn a lesson that each one of us need to learn today. And the first point is Jesus knows knows what you are going through. Let me say that again. Jesus knows what we are going through. So Jesus, he wasn't taken by surprise when he arrived to find Lazarus had already died. He knows everything. He wasn't surprised. Nothing catches him off God. In fact, Jesus, he already knew that Lazarus had died. You know, remember, Jesus knows everything. He wasn't surprised that Lazarus was dead. And Jesus isn't surprised when things go wrong for you. When things go wrong for me, nothing is a surprise to him. He's not surprised when you are in need of a miracle because he knows exactly what you are going through. And he has a plan as well to heal you as he did Lazarus. So Jesus spoke with Mary and Martha the sisters of Lazarus. Those were his two sisters. The Bible tells us that when he saw how much pain they were in, that Jesus wept. He knows our pain. He can understand that. He cries when we cry. When our heart is broken, his heart is broken. The same as when we smile, he smiles. He loves us that much. And that teaches us something important. This is our second point. Jesus feels the pain you feel. Let me say it again. Jesus feels the pain you feel. So Jesus hurt when we hurt. When you have, oh my goodness, he loves us very, very much. He loves us very, very much. When we feel pain, when we have a family member who is sick, Jesus feel our pain. When you need a huge, when you need a hug, he, he's there to hug us. Oh my goodness. When we need something just big to happen in our lives and we just can't do it on our own, we can trust King Jesus. When you are sad and you're feeling depressed, Jesus feels your pain. Jesus knows exactly how you feel. He loves you. He cares for you. When I think about his goodness and how much he loves me, it's just so overwhelming to think that a God, oh my, no matter what I do, he loves me that much. So Martha and Mary, they thought it was too late for their brother to receive a miracle because it made sense. He was already dead, right? It makes sense. They had waited and waited for Jesus to arrive. And by the time he arrived, four days, he was done. He was in a tomb, but he didn't arrive before he died. So they forgot. Martha and Mary forgot. This is our third point. It's never too late for a miracle. Let me say that again. It's never too late for a miracle. So even though it seemed like Jesus had arrived too late, Mary and Martha, they soon found out that it was definitely not too late. Jesus spoke and Lazarus came walking into the grave. Remember that song? You call my name and I walked out of that grave. This That song reminds me of that when Lazarus, yes, Jesus came out that grave. But when Jesus called Lazarus, he walked out of that grave too. You know what I mean? So we just 
thank the Lord for being an on time God. Lazarus had been dead for four days, but even death was not strong enough to resist the power of Jesus. Let me see your ruthless power. Yes, the power of Jesus. It wasn't too late for Lazarus. Thank you, Jesus. It's not too late for you either. You may have waited and waited. I know I'm still waiting on God for something, but I have faith that he will work a miracle on my behalf. You too have to have faith that he will work a miracle on your behalf. You may be convinced that it is just too late for a miracle, just like Martha and Mary. That's what they thought. You may be thinking that the same thing, but Jesus is never too late. He can perform a miracle for you today. There's nothing too hard for God. So we are going to pray for a miracle right now. And remember, it is never too late for a miracle. Oh gosh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. God. We thank you for this lesson. Is it too late for my miracle? No, it is not. The same God who raised Lazarus from the dead. That is wonderful, a miraculous healing. He's the same God that can do it for you. Oh God, I pray for everyone right now, whether you're sick in your bodies, sick in your hearts, sick in your minds, maybe you have loved ones that are sick, even if your pets are sick, because God, he created your pet and he loves them just the same. He loves everything that we love. He care about everything that we care about, oh God. We thank you for working a miracle. And although it seemed like it's too late for us, that we know that you have a plan and you have a master plan and you will turn our sorrow into joy, unspeakable joy, God. Thank you for the scriptures you give us to let us know that it's never too late. It's never game over because you are with us and you can do anything. We honor you. We thank you. We praise you for just being a great God. There's no one like you. And it's in your precious son, Jesus name. We all say amen. Amen. Hi, boys and girls, Pastor Anna here. Hey, we want to ask you something. Would you like us to pray for you? If you have a prayer request, something you want us to agree with you to ask God for, email us at kids at lifesourcechurches.com. Send us your prayer request and we will pray for you. We love you guys and we want to pray for you. So have a great week. Hey friends, I wanted to ask you, will you please like this video by clicking the thumbs up? And please hit the subscribe button if you like it, then you can get all our videos. And also, can you feed me a worm, please? Thank you.